Hi guys, welcome to today's class. Today we will be seeing how to create a generic data sources or generic extractor in SAP. Myself Venu Gopal Nanjapa and having 4 plus years of experience in SAP ABAP. This is the agenda of today's class. Uh, in today's class we will be seeing definition of extractor, different types of extractor. Also we will see what is generic extractor and uh, different types of generic extractor. And we will also see important transactions which we will be using to create our uh, generic extractor and we will see demo of how to create a generic extractor based on table or view ok let's start yeah this is the definition of extractor the extractor is a system generated program or a system program which is usually extract data from source system as we see in the diagram uh, we have a source as SAP R3 system and a target as SAP BW system in order to fetch the data from SAP RD and transfer to BW system, we need a system program that is called as an extractor. Understood, right? Yeah, now we will see different types of extractor. The extractors are broadly classified into two types. One is standard extractor and other is customer generic extractor. As the name indicates, standard extractor are SAP delivered objects and which can be enhanced if we want to do some slight customization that is adding two fields to a standard extractor something like that whereas custom or generic extractor are completely custom developed by developer like us we will see in detail about generic extractor in today's class yeah now we will see different types of standard extractor Standard extractors are divided into two categories. One is application specific and the second one is customer generated extractor. Application specific extractors having subtypes like BW Content FI, HR, CO, SAP CRM and LO cockpit. Whereas custom customer generated extractors are subdivided into LIS extractors. FISL extractor and COPA extractors. Now we will see different types of customer generic extractors. Generic extractor are also called as cross application extractors. Generic extractor are of three types. One is generic extractor can be created based on table or view which is existed in the digital dictionary or which can be created based on the InfoSet query. Those are ABAP queries and which is also created based on the function module. We will see how to create a generic extractor based on viewer table in today's class. Whereas InfoSet query we will create a ABAP query and ABAP query will act as a source to the extractor. Whereas in function module based we will write a custom logic inside the function module which will fetch the data from different source or table and pass it to the extract structure or extract table ok uh, these are the important transactions which we come across while uh, creating or testing the generic extractor or uh, in general extractor that is RSA1 which is a BW workbench which is used for modeling that we will see uh, in the next upcoming classes whereas RSO2 RSO2 is a transaction to maintain generic data sources that is to create a generic data sources and we have RSA3 transaction which is used to check the extractor or test the extractor which we have created. From RSA3 we can even test the standard extractor also and in S11, S11 as we all know which is a data dictionary transaction which we can create a about tables, views etc. Now we will see demo of how to create a generic extractor based on table or view. As I said earlier, in this case, source of data is table or table view. The data source is created based on the data dictionary tables or views. And in this case, we no need to create the extract structure explicitly. The system will automatically create extract structure. Okay? We will see now demo in the system. This is the RSO2 transaction. 
This is RSO2 transaction used to create a generic extractor. RSO2. Okay, now we are in a RSO2 transaction. See, here we can create a different types of data sources that is transactional data, RNs data source can be of master data attributes which can hold text also. Now we will create a transactional data. Okay, as in this case, the source of data will be either table or view. So I will give the data source name as Z V EMP underscore T001. We will be creating a data source which will fetch the data from T001 table and extract the extract in the output. I will click on display button to check whether the extractor is already present or what. Now we can see it is not present. Data source ZVMP T001 is not defined in the source system. Okay. Now I will click on create button. Upon clicking on create button, it will take me to next screen where we have to enter few mandatory details. See, automatically the data source name is populated and the application component from F4 you have to select one of the application component. Here I am selecting SAP IS. Okay. And a short description. You can give us T001 Same thing. Since all these things are mandatory, you have to provide short description, medium description, and long description. Okay. And as we can see over here, we have three different button: extractor from view, extractor from query, or extractor from FM. By default, extractor from view or table is enabled. If I click on extractor from query, this field got enabled. Here we have to give InfoSec query name, or else if we are creating a the extractor based on function module have to click on this button extractor by FM upon clicking on extractor by FM button these two fields will get enabled here I will provide a function module name and extract structure in this case as you can see over here in function module based extractor we have to create a extract structure explicitly ok so now I am clicking on Extractor from view, extraction from view. Now it enabled. I am giving over here T001 and press on save. <coughs> so we lost for the package. I am saving in a local package. See, upon saving, it will take you to the next screen. In this screen, here you can select which all field you wanted in the extract structure. This is if you see over here, this is our extract structure, and if you see over here, it will list all the fields which is existed in T001 table. So there might be the case where we don't need all three T001 tables fields in the extracted output. So if we are not removing or hiding those fields, it will cause a performance issue. Say suppose I want 10 fields from T001 table but I am extracting uh, 100 fields it is uh, which are uh, not really concerned to us so what we have to do is those fields which we don't want to be there in the extractor output we can hide we can see over here hide field column is there you just click on hide you just uh, enable the checkbox ok there is something called selection first we will save this and execute the uh, extractor and then we will see what is the selection. Save. Now my generic extractor is ready, which is TVEMP001. Now to test this generic extractor, I have to go to RSA3 transaction. RSA3. RSA3. Enter. So this is my extractor, pass the extractor name in the data source field, press on enter. So <coughs> now click on extractor button, extraction button. Now the extractor is running and fetching the data. If you see over here, 284 data records are selected. 
okay and to see the output that is our uh, extracted data click on alv grid this button now you can see company code company name city state what are the field which is enabled over there so in this case the extractor fetched all the data there might be some case where we want to restrict the data only to company code 001 right so in that case we should have some field over here right to restrict the data which is like our selection screen so in order to do that we have to go back to our rso2 transaction and uh, click on change button click on save it will take you to next screen see we have something called selection so what i need is in my extractor or my data source the company code should be in the selection screen so that i can restrict the data which is being extracted from the t001 table so i am selecting i am enabling bukrs as my selection that is how my company code i am saving it so my extractor is saved successfully now i will go to the rsa3 transaction again i will press enter no now if you, okay i have to reload this is 3 see if you see over here bookers that is company code field is automatically displayed over here which is our selection so with this i can restrict the data which is being extracted from t001 table we first execute without your giving company code 284 records got uh, selected click on alv grid we will restrict data from 00 on to 006 okay now click on extract and if you see over here the data source in this case extracted only three records whereas in previous case it extracted all the data which is present in t001 table this way we can able to restrict the data which is being extracted click on okay and to see the output click on alv grid you can see over here only the company code which is in the range 1 to 6 has been fetched in the extractor output i guess this will clearly define what is the generic extractor which is based on viewer table okay now we'll go back to ppt so thus we got to know how to create a generic data source based on table or view thank you for watching video subscribe to my channel and like and share this video more videos are coming soon and in next class we will see how to create a generic extractor based on a function module thank you so much have a great day